The untold truth about Sean Cassidy. Where is he today? Sean Cassidy is an American singer, producer, writer, and actor, born on the 27th of September 1958 in Los Angeles, California, USA. He's probably best known from appearing in the TV series The Hardy Boys Mysteries and for his number one single, Da Do Ron Ron. Sean Paul Cassidy is the son of actors Jack Cassidy and Shirley Jones. Sean has two younger brothers named Patrick and Ryan. Famous actor and musician David Cassidy, born from his father's first marriage to Evelyn Ward, was his older half-brother who passed away in 2017. Because of his parents' profession, Sean grew up in Los Angeles and New York, attending Solbury School for his primary education and then Beverly Hills High School until his matriculation. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Sean signed his first recording contract with Warner Brothers Records while still in his teens, and just a year after matriculating his first step to start recording music, and which led to the release of his first self-titled album in 1977. This solo work achieved multi-platinum certification, and its single Da Do Run Run, originally recorded by girl group The Crystals in the 1950s, charted number one, and won him a nomination as the Best New Artist for the Grammy Awards. The album's second single entitled That's Rock and Roll charted at number three in US, earning him international fame through its success in Europe and Australia. Despite this huge fame and his successful life tour through the US, suddenly becoming a teen celebrity didn't change Sean's humble nature. The idea of being any kind of an idol is kind of embarrassing. My self-worth was never rooted in that, he later said. The same year, Cassidy's second album, Born Late, was released. And unlike his first album, this one showcased many songs co-written by him. Written by Eric Carmen, its single Hey Dini charted at number 7, while his second entitled Do You Believe in Magic, originally recorded by rock band The Love and Spoonful in the 1960s, didn't have the same success, hitting number 31 on the Billboard. Despite this, the album was eventually certified platinum, though it received mixed critiques. A few old Beatle maniacs are murmuring that Sean isn't so bad. He likes the music more than David ever did. His covers show some feeling, and Hey Dini actually rocks, all of which is true, and all of which is still pretty lame. In 1978, Cassidy's third album, Under Wraps, peaked at number 33 on the Billboard, and its only charting single, Our Night, reached number 80 on lists. Although the album is not considered a commercial failure, it was a rather dramatic change from his previous works and signaled Cassidy's momentum and appeal as a teen celebrity was ending. The song It's Like Heaven includes Beach Boy's Brian Wilson's songwriting, who had previously collaborated in various songs of Sean's half-brother David. In July 1979, Cassidy released his fourth album entitled Room Service, though its only single, You're Using Me, didn't chart at all on the Billboard's 200 which was Cassidy's biggest and first commercial failure. Ralph Hebutsky reviewed his work on all music and pointed out its mistakes. The real issue is a lack of distinctive material for Cassidy to call his own. He and Lloyd wrote or co-wrote all but one song, The Letter, so they definitely have to shoulder the blame. Cassidy might have had better luck if he'd stuck to his stripped down guns on Fallen Into You or Break From The Street, whose crisp delivery and guitar work make them the best moments here. Wasp. The fifth and last studio album of Cassidy, released in 1980, showcased covers of songs such as Rebel Rebel by David Bowie and Once Bitten, Twice Shy by Ian Hunter. Searching for a way to reinvent his sound and career, this pop-oriented album was produced by Todd Rundgren, although the single Memory Girl became a hit in Europe. Cassidy's efforts to create a commercially successful album were ineffective, as Wasp was his second album in a row which failed to chart in the US and marked the end of his career as a singer. Sean Cassidy's debut as an actor was as Christopher Wentworth Hewlett in 1976's movie Born of Water. Following this role and shortly after the release of his first studio album, Cassidy was cast as Joe Hardy, the starring role in the 1977 TV series The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries increasing his fame as a teen idol. In 1979, he was cast as Roger Meyer in the drama TV movie Like Normal People, and a year later, he was cast in his second recurrent role as Dave Stoller in Breaking Away. At the start of the 1980s, Cassidy's musical career had sunk considerably. Thus, he decided to stay away from playing characters on TV and focused on Broadway instead, starring in Mass Appeal, a national tour along with Milo O'Shea. He also acted in Bus Stop, 
which debuted in London, and in the one-year run of Blood Brothers, in which he acted as his half-brother David's counterpart. However, the feud on stage was just for acting, as Cassidy told People, we don't have traditional sibling rivalry, but we're close. We shared a mutual experience that is kind of unique. We compared notes, but I had an advantage. I saw him go through it. In 1985, Cassidy returned to TV when he played David Dishinger's character in an episode of American Playhouse. Next, he appeared as Chad Singer in Murder, She Wrote, made a brief appearance in Hospital General in 1987, then in the movie Once Upon a Texas Train, and in the TV series Matlock. Cassidy's last acting appearance was in 1995 in the short film Your Studio and You. Cassidy successfully transitioned from a pop singer and actor to a screenwriter in the early 1990s when he wrote the pilot for American Gothic. Although the series was cancelled after only one season on air, it was well received by critics and obtained a passionate review in the New York Times, the most original news show of the season. Cassidy continued working on his writing skills and in 1997 created the series Roar, starring Heath Ledger, which was followed in the same year by Players, starring Ice T. In 2005, Bella Bayaria of Universal Television praised Cassidy on his work and confirmed the network's decision to hire him as the creator and executive producer of the drama horror series Invasion. He's a talented creator and a skilled showrunner. With his vast experience in the entertainment business, he understands all angles of making a TV show. He is also a strong supervisor to other writers, and we are excited to have a deal with him. Although years have passed since his last TV appearance, Sean Cassidy is still actively working behind the camera. Nowadays, he's the producer and main writer of the series New Amsterdam, which premiered in 2018. In his personal life, Cassidy was married for the first time in 1979 to model Anne Pennington, with whom he had two children, Caitlin, born in 1981, and Jake in 1985. He was also Pennington's daughter Jessica's stepfather. The marriage ended in 1993. In 1995, Cassidy married Susan Dial, with whom he had a daughter Juliet in 1998, but eight years into the marriage, they filed for divorce. In 2004, Cassidy married Tracy Lynn Turner, with whom he has four children, Caleb, Rowan, Lila, and Marin. The couple is still apparently happily married and living in California as a result of a successful career as a singer, actor, producer, and screenwriter. Sean Cassidy has an estimated net worth of over $20 million as of late 2020. Physically, Sean Cassidy is a man of white ethnicity who has blonde brownish hair and green eyes. His weight is unknown, but he's 5 feet 11 inches or 1.8 meters tall. Finally, as a tribute to his half-brother David, who died on the 21st of November 2017 of liver failure, Sean Cassidy warmly remembered him with a photo of them together posted on his Twitter account and said, I tried to catch him, of course. I always try to catch him but I never could. Now I will carry him, along with all of the funny, sad, extraordinary days we shared. None more filled with love than these last few at his side. David Cassidy's music memorabilia was left to his brothers, including Sean, as part of his will. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.